So haven't we all at one time or another in the past become so tickled during church that we thought we would explode trying not to laugh out loud? We had one of those occasions recently in our family. It seems as if since we've come back to worship from the pandemic, uh, our oldest granddaughter, Elizabeth, has begun to really pay close attention to what goes on during communion. And her mother thinks that it's has something to do with the images that are being placed on the screen, which, you know, for a first grader, that draws a lot of attention for her to look up there and see something, and then her little mind gets to thinking about it. So Sunday, during communion, uh, there was an image up there of a crown of thorns, and she leaned over to her mom, and she said that they placed that on his head, didn't they? And she said, yes, they did. And um, her mother said to her, she said, isn't that an awful thing for a real king to have a crown of thorns placed on his head? And she said, yes, it was. And it went along a little further. And next there was a, a vine with grapes on it. And Elizabeth understood that that meant partaking of the, the fruit of the vine. And she turned to her mother and she said, I'm going to do that one day when I'm sacrificed. And her mother said, don't you mean baptized? She said, yeah, 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 I mean baptized. So Kara turns to her mother, and she and Patty talk about it, and they become so tickled they almost explode. But we understand, because when we think of sacrifice, typically in our fleshly mind, we think of sacrifice as uh, offering up something unto death on an altar. Uh, we think of Hollywood movies where some uh, dark unknown people in a continent far away sacrifice a human being. Uh, that comes to our mind, and we laughed about that. But as we came away, almost immediately, it came to my mind that truly sacrifice is what we should do. Sacrifice is what Christ did to us, but what we have to do is sacrifice ourselves, sacrifice our desires, our wants to follow him. Dr. Bob Walker always puts it so very well that we as leaders in the church have liberty in the scripture. We also have influence and we choose our influence over liberty sometimes. And that's a very minute sacrifice compared to what Christ did for us. But truly, if we sacrifice the life that our flesh desires to serve Christ, the joy that comes from that and the opportunity for eternal life is worth it all.